All righty, welcome everybody to our Google Analytics setup presentation. I want to take just a couple of minutes and show you guys how to take a, a Volusion website um, and, and install Google Analytics onto your Volusion site so that you can use analytics to start tracking the visitors, um, the number of people you get to your site, all the traffic, where they're coming from, all the stats that you'll need as you're, as you're, as you're marketing your website. You can do that with this Google Analytics software. So first of all, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. The only thing you really need to have to set it up, generally you want to have a, a Gmail account, like a Gmail email account. So if you don't have that, sign up. You just go to gmail.com and you can create your own, your own Gmail account. And then at that point, you come over here to google.com. And I'm just going to highlight this for you, google.com. Uh, slash analytics, okay? You see that address up there at the top? Google.com slash analytics. Now at that point, you're going to get to this page. It looks like this. And you're just gonna click on access analytics up here at your top right. I'm gonna click on that. And it'll take you here and you'll need to sign, you'll need to sign up. So I'm gonna click sign up. And it's gonna take me to this page right here. So this is real easy to do. So assuming this is a brand new website, you know, or her, an existing website that you're just trying to track your visitors on, you're just going to come here to account name and we'll call this test website. Just put in the name of your site. And then I usually just use the, the website name and account name is the same. So I'll put in testwebsite.com or whatever it is, whatever your website is. And then I got to go www.testwebsite.com, whatever your actual domain name is. You choose an industry. A lot of, a lot of you guys are going to be sort of in the shopping industry because it's an e-commerce site. Then you, cho you choose a time zone. I'm going to say we're in mountain time because that's where I am. Leave all of this other stuff checked and then hit get tracking ID. Okay. Now, when I hit tra get tracking ID, it has me read through the terms and services. Um, or sorry, terms and conditions. So you can read through this and then hit accept. And then it'll load up a page that looks just like this. Now, this looks kind of confusing because there's a lot going on here, but all you're going to do is you're going to copy this code right here. Okay. Just highlight it and copy it. Make sure you've got it highlighted and copy everything from script to script. We're going to copy. Okay. Then you need to go over to your Volusion e-commerce site. So in this case, we're going to do this on uptownpearl.com. I'm going to assume, of course, this already has Google Analytics installed, but I'm going to reinstall it so you guys can see. Let me log into my Volusion account here. You need to log into the back end of your Volusion. And then there's a couple ways to do this, but I'll show you the, the fail-proof way. I go up here to the Manage Store tab. I come here to Design and then File Editor right here. Design, File Editor. I come right here to Template underscore dot HTML. This might look a little different depending on what template you use. Click on that. And then depending on what you use, you know, my, the code might look a little different, but you want to look for this head tag right here. It's usually at the top. Find where it says head, and then directly after it, you put in your cursor. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this just a little bit better. Put in your cursor right here and paste in that code, okay? So you could right-click. Whoops, I'm sorry. Right-click and then, you know, hit paste and paste in your code. Once you've pasted in your code, let's let's assume for a second that I pasted in my code, okay? Which actually looks like this right here. That's my code. Paste it in. I can hit the save button. And once I hit save, your Google Analytics is installed onto your website. Now, it usually takes a few minutes for the tracking to actually begin. But once it begins, everything's all set up. So now if I go back to my analytics here, I can come up here to home. And usually you just save preferences like that. 
And then you can click on this all website data right here. And it takes you into the actual statistical pre uh, presentation of, of your traffic. Okay. So you can see all you can see a line graph. Now I'm going to show you an example of one that's already been set up so you can see, but this is usually what it looks like. And you can see this line graph shows nothing but zeros because right now it hasn't been tracking any data and it only starts tracking from the day you install it. So I won't be able to get any of this uh, previous data. Um, I'll just get everything from the time I install it going forward. Okay. Now to show you an example of one that's actually been done. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to log out of this account for just a sec. I'm going to log into an account that's been done in the past. Um, so I'm going to go here to google.com up here at the top slash analytics. I'm going to sign in right here at the top. I'm going to choose this account right here. Okay, this is an account that's had analytics on it for a while. Okay, and it takes me here, and I'm going to click on um, click on the link here that has the data out to the side. So in this case, Mockingjay Pin Store, I click on it, and then you're going to see inside your statistics, you're going to see a graph here, and uh, that's that's what it looks like when it's tracking your data. So you can look at it at a glance. You can kind of see, you know, how many tra or how many visitors you're getting to your site. You can actually see where they're coming from what language they speak, what country they're from. If I click on that, I mean this, I'm actually not going to show you the ins and outs of using analytics in this webinar. I just wanted to show you how to set it up. But if it is set up correctly and you come back and you check your account after a couple of days, you'll start seeing a little line graph showing you the traffic that's coming to your site. And that, again, that this is all critical because you're you're crazy if you're not tracking your your visitors, right? A lot of people think, well, I'll measure the success of my website based out just based off of how many sales I'm getting. And that's a that's one way to measure your success, but if you're a if you're a you know, a smart internet marketer and you want to see the whole story, you're going to see your traffic. And and it's a, and it's really neat because you can see things over time. This is just for the last month on this site. But if I uh, if I change the date range right up here at the top, this is February 2nd to March 4th. I can I can see, you know, for the last couple of years, I can take this all the way back to July of 2013 if I want and hit apply, and you can see my graph over time, sort of when it grows, and um, you can see based on this data, it's usually during the holidays where I get a lot of traffic to this specific site. And you can round the data by looking at weekly averages or even monthly averages to round out the data and see more information. But that, anyway, that's just a little bit about how it works. We'll probably do another presentation another time that shows you specifically the value of it, how to use the data. The point of this is simply for you guys who want to install it, this is exactly how you do it on a Volusion site.